the 4x100 meter relay is perhaps the most exciting event in all of track and field. It's the closest thing we get to a true team event, where it really doesn't matter how fast the athletes actually are if they don't know how to work together. It is the reason why the men of Team USA don't have a standing Olympic medal in that event since the year 2004. Even though they have five of the ten fastest men in world history between then and now. And their lack of practice as a relay team is likely the only reason why, because they clearly have enough speed to win the gold. For that reason, you're just as likely to see fast times recorded at the college level as you are to see them by the pros. In fact, in 2023 alone, LSU, Texas Tech, and Florida all ran the three fastest times ever recorded in collegiate history. Times that would have fit in just fine at the World Championship meet. And the only logical reason for that is because they practice together all season long. It is true that high school teams run the relay also and practice very consistently when they do. But let's be honest, those kids don't have enough speed to compete with the best men in the NCAA, at least up until now. Because humble Atascacita High School in Texas just ran the fastest 4x100 meter relay time in the nation. But that's only telling half the story because their time of 38.92 seconds at the Victor Lopez Classic is actually the new American high school record. And that means that a bunch of high school boys would have fit in just fine at the Division I NCAA Championship meet. And no, I did not say the regional meet. They would be one of the best relay teams in all of Division I if they just keep running like that. The truth is that Humble Atascacita is one of the best relay teams in the nation, regardless of what level they compete at. But it's also true that they were never really supposed to be this fast. Not just because they're a team of high school boys, but because faster high school teams have existed on paper and just couldn't get the stick around well enough. So winning a state championship in Texas is now no longer the goal anymore. It's actually just a formality. They might as well be setting their sights on the world junior record because they might as well run for something since nobody else in high school can keep up with them. But if you're new here, I have to say thank you for even making it this far into the video. And I'm Coach Rob, the founder of SEARecruiting.com. And if anything that I say actually connects with you, it is always greatly appreciated. If you would please like and subscribe. But if I don't, just let me know in the comment section because I try to read them all. Before I go any further, I have to address why the Eagles from Humble, Texas were never really supposed to be this fast. Don't get me wrong, they are a team of legitimate D1 talents, but even a college coach would likely struggle to get the stick around that quickly with their roster. They are led by Jelani Watkins, who is about as high as any four-star recruit can actually be in the sprints on the SCA national list for the class of 2024 at least without technically being a five-star. He'd broken 21 seconds in the 200 already and run 10.2 in the 100 when legal. But he's also a football player who's headed to LSU. You would struggle to find another anchor leg at the high school level who is as fast as him. But if you really want to do it, you should probably start with the name ranked ahead of him on the national list. But what makes this high school team so special are the three boys who handed the stick off to Jelani because they are all legitimate D1 caliber recruits. You could argue Landon Fontenot is their next best sprinter, who's ranked just outside the top 300 on the SEA national list for the class of 2024. So he is a low four-star recruit, headed to Iowa in the Big Ten. But their next sprinter is Jordan Parker, who's one of the most intriguing prospects in the class of 2024. He's another low four-star recruit, but his best events are actually the 400 and the 800, ironically. And their last remaining relay leg is a junior named Tory Blaylock. He's actually a high level three-star recruit in the class of 2025. But I'm also willing to bet that he'll be climbing his way up by the time this season is over. Those boys from Humble, Texas are basically a division one caliber relay team, at least on paper, while running at the high school level. To put it in perspective, I was a sprinter who was a two-star level recruit back when I was in high school. And I was clearly the fastest leg on our relay team by far. But like I said before, even legit D1 teams don't move to stick around that fast. And don't worry, I've got the receipts to prove it. At the time I'm recording this video, 
Humble Attack Athena would rank second in the entire NCAA in the 4x100m relay. The only team ranked ahead of them at the moment is Auburn out of the SEC, with their time of 38.74. Just consider that the Texas Longhorns ran 39.22 seconds at the Texas Relays, and that was with four runners who are at least as good as Jelani Watkins, or better, on paper. And their time actually makes sense. I ran the 4x1 in college for a relay that actually broke a conference record in Division I at the time that I did it. But our team in the Patriot League Conference still didn't break the 40-second barrier to do it. However, that team was actually legitimately slower than Humble Attack Casita on paper. The average open 100-meter time for our entire squad was only 10.6 seconds. We simply overachieved because as a team, we really knew how to get the stick around. And logically, it's the only way those high schoolers can run that fast without having the same amount of speed as the top programs in D1. Breaking the high school national record in the 4x1 is a very big deal, but the best days of sprinting for Jelani and all of his teammates should be ahead of them. They should win a state championship, and they may or may not break the world junior record, but I just hope they know just how special their relay team right now actually is. They all belong in D1, in the SEC, Big Ten, or wherever else they really want to go. But considering that almost every team at the college level is struggling to keep up with them, there is no guarantee that any future relay team that they actually run on will ever be as special as the humble attack to see the Eagles. SCA track and field gear is here. Fast is a lifestyle, and what you wear should reflect that. Order yours at scarecruiting.com slash shop, or use the link in the description below. It's a huge support to me and this channel, so I can continue to make you more content like this. And remember, it is always greatly appreciated if you would please like and subscribe.